It takes a lot for a woman to work in a male-dominated profession, but it takes even more to be the leader of all of them. Yeah, Fabiola Ramirez is here with how one woman has beaten the odds in Fresno. Fabiola, good morning. Hi, good morning. Well, from an entry-level firefighter to fire chief, Carrie Donis is the first woman to hold a position in the Fresno Fire Department's history. She spoke with me about the strength it took for her to move up through the ranks. In the firefighter world, the majority of the crew are male. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, nationwide, only 4% of firefighters are women. Over the years, departments have attempted to recruit females, yet the numbers remain low. Might it be the status quo or because physically men are said to be stronger? Whatever the reason may be, women can be firefighters and even leaders of the whole department, just like Fire Chief Carrie Donis, who's been in charge for five years now. I really never thought, oh, I'm going to be the fire chief someday. I thought, I'm going to do the very best I can at each rank I held. And then when the opportunity came, I said, well, I know this organization better than anyone else that's applying. And I think I know where we need to go. Today, she wears her fire chief badge with pride. But getting it didn't come easy. It took a lot of work, and it required proving herself. The truth is you do. And I, the men would look at us, and there were three of us that came on at the same time, women. And I could see them looking to see if we could do what all the other guys were doing. And once you get past that proving of yourself uh, and you're consistent, um, you're part of the team. Donis joined the Fresno Fire Department in 1996 as an entry-level firefighter, then moved up as deputy fire chief for more than eight years. She's been in Fresno with the department her whole firefighting career. She's a Fresno State grad who played softball in college. Today, she says the skills she learned in sports helped shape her career. Well, you have to be mentally and physically tough, and you have to be disciplined and have a work ethic and be a team player. As a student athlete, I'd done that my whole life. And so it was a very natural fit to be in the fire service. As fire chief, her goal is to educate young women about the job. She says she would like to see more females be a part of her department. Women can do this just as well as men can and, uh, and offer even some other um, uh, skill sets that maybe men can't offer in this profession. Don is hopes to inspire young women to pursue a career in firefighting. To achieve that, she's holding a girls' empowerment camp. It's the first of its kind. We'll show women, you know, what it's like to hold a chainsaw, what it's like to put the turnouts on and crawl and use a hose. If after the day training, firefighting isn't what interests them, then at least walk away with the strong mindset that they can strive for more, set goals for themselves, work hard, and achieve those goals. And don't let anybody get in your way of uh, saying you can't do that. Uh, the sky's the limit. Have a can-do and, and never give up attitude. It takes a lot of work to achieve success. Uh, and, and those deposits you make each and every day to achieve that goal will only pay off in the end. Such a wonderful, inspiring story. It was amazing to meet her and to hear her story and how hard she worked to prove herself through every single position from entry level firefighter all the way to now fire chief. Yeah, and you know, her career has spanned so many decades, really. What did she say was kind of the most challenging thing she faced? Exactly that. Proving herself that she could do exactly what all the other firefighters have done. And oh my goodness, I tried on that suit to uh -huh. see how heavy it is. Uh -huh. I could walk only like 10 steps. Really? It's really heavy. And she said, you know, that's a, we have to know our strength. And that's the advice she gives young women is to know your strength, know your abilities, and stand your ground. She's a role model, and we're going to hear from more ladies like her in the future soon. Yes, yes. Girl power. It's going to continue. We're going to hear from Sheriff Mims. Um, First Lady Mary Castro, yeah. there's so many different women that we're going to be hearing from. Yeah, lots of inspiring women doing a lot of great things in the Valley. This is one of our new series that we're excited to share here on Channel 47, and we'll have it for the next several months. So we hope you stay tuned with us. Great story. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.